But you know what I will say? I was watching an entrepreneur speech, one of those motivational playlists, because that's that's how we get down in this entrepreneurial life. We like to be motivated. And Jay-Z was talking to Gary Vernachuk or someone, and he was saying, entrepreneurs, everyone just thinks it's like a cool word and they stick in their Instagram bio. And I think it's the same with influencers. Like they say, I'm an influencer, I'm an entrepreneur, but they don't. They're not, they don't know. He said, um, everyone says entrepreneurs in their bio, but how many of them actually work on Saturdays? Like how many of them will actually dedicate time to their, their business, their passion on the weekend? And he's like 90% of entrepreneurs don't work Saturdays. So are you really an entrepreneur if you only work Monday to Friday? So I think it's the same for influencers. Like, well, I'm an influencer, but if you've got 50,000 followers and you've got 13 likes, I don't really think you're an influencer when I've got like 900 followers and I've got like a couple hundred likes. How do you have 100,000 followers and you've got 13 likes? So yeah, you, you were telling me. Make it make sense. Someone tell me, how does two plus two? It, it actually, T, this is, um, we talked about this earlier before. You're like, we, we analyze someone's profile that we both know. Mm -hmm. And we this person has like thousands of followers and we saw they only had 20 likes. T, T and I joked and it's like, we can take a picture of like our stubby toe and get like 50 likes, just just what like that. Like, so much more than this Like influencer. a hanging toenail on like a spot and I would get like 50 likes. And we were like, hold on, we're two of those 20 likes. So really, yeah. they were fucking feeling like. We're getting close to single figures when we take away family and friends. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So maybe there's even bots, right? Some people buy followers and bots oh, exist, God. right? We get, we get messages all the time, like buy this many followers for this much money. Mm. Um, our engagement is a little different because we have the original business. So we rebranded that Instagram okay. as this one. So a lot of followers have stayed, but I think the interaction has gone really down. Mm. Um, however, having that number does still help us. But yeah, we need to, we need to work on that. And social media is something I really need to nail down. I think it, actually that's what a lot of people need to figure out um, with any sort of business. It's so, it's such a fine art, SEO and also like social media um, branding or marketing, right? So um, with Athletic where there is very competitive world, world in terms of SEO, like the most, was it the most targeted uh, keyword in sports in, in the UK is boots for, boots for sale. Did you know that? Like you gotta pay so much money to get your page on like number one in Google just for using boots for sale. Kind of thing. So it's like uh, JD Sports, they're the number one company that nails SEOs so yeah, well. They've and got a really good team. Yeah, good team, good money. And it's also money too, right? Of course, so, of course. Yeah. But you know, but they're the company who should be nailing it. Mm. And if they weren't, then they need to look in the mirror. Mm. Whereas we're at a very different level. Mm -hmm. But no, uh, they're nailing it. And they, they tend to work with a lot of people, mm. um, both big and small. Some of my friends have worked with them at Part Life the last one that was on. Nice. And they weren't necessarily huge following, but they were dancers. Okay. So I'm like, yes, that's cool. Mm. They're working with people who are actually, their following, it will be loyal to them. Sure. They'll want to see what they post. So say they've got 2,000 followers, at least a 1,000 of them will want to see exactly what they're wearing and what they're doing. True, true. So loyal, loyal fan base.